be sure to check out Big Boy Collectibles for all your G.I. Joe action figure needs. Whether it's vintage or new, Big Boy Collectibles has it. Check them out at bigboycollectibles.com. What's up everyone, ODC it's me here and I'm back with another action figure review. Today's review we're going to take a look at the G.I. Joe Rise of Cobra Sting Raider with Copperhead and Swamp Viper. Now uh, this was previously opened uh, but it was put back in package and sold. Uh, I picked this up at Big Boy Collectibles and uh, got a really good great, blah, blah, got a really great price on it. Excuse me, couldn't talk there for a second. It is 100% complete so there's no issue there. Um, I did want this set over the previous released sets but um, this was a Toys R Us exclusive as you can see right there only a Toys R Us and this is the Jungle Assault and I'm uh, trying to get my jungle um, set up going but uh, here's the uh, the set on the back and I think this is the best version of Copperhead it's debatable but to me, I think it might be the best. We'll, we'll take a look at that in a second. Um, I do like that it comes with, uh, almost looks like a uh, AVAC pilot. Um, but I, I might be mistaken there. Um, there are two read-ups on the bottom. One of Copperhead. So that's pretty cool. And pause it and read it if you so choose and then I'm just gonna lift up the camera here one of the Swamp Viper so without any further ado let's get the Sting Raider Copperhead and Swamp Viper out of packaging and we'll be right back okay and we're back with the Sting Raider Copperhead and the Swamp Viper out of packaging and uh, this is a you know this is a solid set uh, I'm pretty happy with it. I wanted a uh, a definitive copperhead, and I think this is it. Um, this is a just pretty much I think the the same exact release as the 25th anniversary. Uh, if I'm incorrect there, let me know in the comments. But I'm pretty sure this is the exact same thing, just re uh, redecoed in a jungle theme. But to me, his theme would always be a jungle theme. So. Uh, not that I have anything wrong with the, you know, a little bit more of a vibrant copperhead, but uh, this is what I think my go-to copperhead. I think it looks really good. Um, I, I'm not a big fan of these these uh, rifles that they're given, to be honest with you. They're a little bit too large and bulky, to be honest with you. Um, this, this rifle doesn't even want to fit in his hand. It's just stretching the plastic on his hand. Uh, the handle's just way too thick. That's what she said. How you doing? Uh, but <laughs> this uh, and this rifle right here, I'm not sure if this is a rifle. It's some sort of futuristic rifle for Copperhead, but I don't know. Just not my cup of tea, to be honest with you. Um, and they're also a little bit too large for the character, to be honest with you. It's like these are almost out of scale, like they're in scale with 6 inch or five inch or something um, but taking a look at the Swamp Viper first um, pretty pretty sure that this is the same head as the AVAC pilot that was reused for something else as well I'm trying to think I can't peg it right now I'm trying to look at my figures to see if I can find it but I'm pretty sure this was used for some sort of either Air Viper or um, an AVAC pilot but I digress. It's got a nice green deco to it uh, with the gray. I think it. I think it looks good. I think it pops. So he does have good movement in his head. Looking up though, looking up looks good. Down is pretty much eye level. Uh, you can swivel side to side in 360 if you want him to. Arms go up, down, full 360. Single bend, swivel, swivel. Uh, no hinge joints there. I don't believe. Nope, just a swivel. He does crunch forward and back, and he can't, nope, he can't pivot side to side, but he can twist. And then you can do the splits. Legs go forward and back, double jointed knees, swivel at the ankle, and a hinge at the ankle. So he's pretty well articulated. 
And since we have our Swamp Viper, I mean, you can pick and choose who you want to drive the Sting Raider and who you want to have the gunner. So I'm probably going to have him as the gunner, and then I'll probably have... Actually, you know what? I might switch it up and actually have Copperhead as the gunner. But uh, I don't know. We'll see. Uh, Copperhead looks pretty good. Uh, this is probably one of the highlights of this set. If I can get his silly belt down. It's a separate sculpted piece. And he does have, looks to be a gun holster, but uh, it's just a sculpted gun holster. Nothing can fit in there or anything like that. So there's that. His head can swivel, full 360. It can't really look up. It does look down a little bit, but uh, his head can also pivot side to side. Arms go up. Really good range of motion there. Swivel. Single bend at the elbow, which is a good range of motion right there. Swivel at the wrist. And then he does have the diaphragm joint, which does crunch forward a little bit. And it can swivel. He's got T-jointed hips, which go out. It's a little bit hindered due to this knife, but you can remove it. So then you can get the full range right there. Legs go forward back single jointed knees but it actually has a good range of motion so I guess a double jointed knee, knee isn't needed uh, to be honest with you does have a hinge at the foot come on it's a little bit stiff that's what she said how you doing uh, <laughs> swivel at the ankle and uh, that's pretty much it he can hold his knife actually uh, it's a little bit loose in this hand. A little bit loose, but not too bad. He still can hold it. Probably fits better in this hand. As it does. And it almost looks like a short, uh, small machete. It's got that kind of flat blade on the top, but it can fit right into a sheath. No issues there. I should probably turn it around. Cause that would that's just little things that bother me <laughs> when knives are in, aren't in sheaths properly um he can fit into well actually before we get to that they do come with two display stands that just say copperhead and swamp viper and it's got the cobra logo on the bottom pretty self-explanatory there uh i didn't put a whole lot of stickers on here i only put two stickers because this thing already came with stickers on it so I don't know. I don't. I don't see the point on overdoing something. Uh, putting no step or step over. I mean, I mean, for God's sake. I mean, we see a step. We know where there's a step. But, uh, <laughs> but uh, just swiveling this gun out of the way, you can fit Copperhead into the cockpit, and it does fit in there. Let's get his arms in there first. And he does fit in there, nice and snug. Let's see if we can get the window sill down come on work with me there we go and he's in there um i think this would have benefited from a hinge joint but then you have to worry about the hinge joint breaking so not the worst thing in the world that this just kind of snaps in you do have to kind of put pressure and push forward to get this to pop off and I mean, I guess you could have them also displayed like this and just have this as an open water, like like so. Um, the gun turret does swivel, and you can have his partner kind of holding on to the handles here. As you can do a full 360 rotation. There's also some articulation in the fins on the back portion here which looks good side to side that looks good there's also a spindle right here which spins the fan oh you can't see so that's pretty cool too um, there's also some steps with some pegs so you can fit two more uh... two on each side two more cobra um, troopers or wh whoever snipers or whatever you want to put on there um, as you can see here let me just grab a uh, night viper and I guess you could have them standing on here. 
if I can find the peg holes. I can't find the hole, bro. <laughs> I guess if you, you might want to have them using both peg holes, so maybe just one on each side. But it can stand. So there's that. Now it's up to, like I said, it's up to personal preference of, as to who you want in the cockpit, but they can both fit in there. Oh, wait, I actually didn't get to his knife. Uh, let's see if he can hold it. His knife is horribly sculpted. Oh, maybe that's just part of the sculpt. I'm sorry. So I take that back. Uh, I cannot really. You can't really hold his knife too well. It's very loose in his hands, but I just wanted to point that out real quick. Sorry for getting off filter there. But just to show you that they both can fit in there. And you want to put these hinges in first before you pop it down and be very careful not to snap anything. Don't force it, just let it go like so. But you can fit in there and then you can fit copper head up top. Like so. Boom, shalak, lock, boom. Guy does not want to stay pegged. What the hell's going on? Oh, he's got he's got shallow pegs. That's why. So, piss poor excuse. I guess you can't get. So that's something to note. You can't get a night viper on there due to his shallow peg holes. So it's not actually the vehicle. But this looks really good. I do like it. I would definitely recommend getting it if you were trying to um, build up your jungle assault dios if you're doing those i do like the detail i like the um the, the camo on the sting raider and uh i love that it comes with two figures how that's very rare and first of all it's rare that we get one figure with a vehicle let alone two um but uh yeah i would definitely recommend this and before i let you guys go before i do that why don't we do the let's see if it floats test because we got to do that it's a gi joe review and we got to see if it floats okay we're back i got a tupperware container full of water and uh, let's see if if the stingrayer floats let's hopefully it doesn't sink <laughs> it looks like it's floating so far i'll give it another 10 seconds. <laughs> See if it sinks. <laughs> well, it looks like it's floating. So, pretty good. So, definitely two thumbs up. It it has a function. It floats. So, whether you're a child or whether you're a grown adult and you still play with toys in the bathtub, <laughs> um, you can uh, have some fun with this guy. Or in, in your pool. It is summertime, I mean. Uh, so, yeah, definitely works. Uh, this would definitely work with displays, too. I mean, uh, even with two figures in there and the, all the weight on there, um, it's uh, it's still floating good. So, if you're using these for dio pieces or, or dioramas, uh, and you, you're set up in, a, let's say, a park or something like that with a stream or a waterfall around, it will float. So that's fantastic. Definitely two thumbs up as I repeat myself, sorry. And uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Thank you for watching as always. And I'll see you guys on the flip side.